here is what my lock screen looks like. This Scout app is kind of fun. This one is really cool. It's called Out of Office. Highly suggest doing that. Hi everyone and welcome to it. Welcome to my what's on my iPhone. I'm currently using the iPhone 14 Plus. Here's what it looks like in the color Starlight. I've been loving it. I also just posted an unboxing about this phone if you watch that. We have a visitor with us today helping us film the video. All right, but we're just gonna go ahead and get started with this right now. So here is what my lock screen looks like. And I actually have three different customizations for my lock screen. So I have it currently on photo shuffle and it shuffles between these three different lock screens that I created. So they're all just different collages that are really cute that I love. I created them with the Canva app or the website. I usually do it on my computer, but I obviously just used all wedding photos because I am obsessed with our wedding and probably will be for a while. So I wanted to use all the wedding photos as my background, but you can easily make these types of collages on canva.com and use whatever photos you like so yeah super cute and then I just have the times and everything customized as well but that is the lock screen and now here's my home screen so I have this type of layout here as you can see and we'll go through some of my favorite apps and everything as well. So first up, I have my reminders. And this is just kind of a big to-do list that I have going all the time. And it's just on the reminders app. And then you can turn it into a widget. I talk about this often, so I just love this. These are the things I need to do because we're leaving for the airport later this afternoon. So those are all my last minute things I need to do. But yeah, it's really easy. You can just add stuff on there. Woohoo! and then check it out. And then I have a little widget of these flowers because I just thought that was cute. And then another larger widget that says, everything is always working out for me. That's a cute little quote. Obviously, you can use any quotes you want. I always pick one that I find powerful and motivating and I usually get all these from Pinterest, so that is from Pinterest. I just like to look up like inspiring quotes, motivational quotes, stuff like that. Then another widget of this little Chanel. I thought it was cute because it has like pearls all on it, so I thought that was cute. The way I have my like stuff set up is very like different so a lot of my apps are actually in the app library all the way over here and I find them like that but the ones that I actually use every day I keep in the folders but before we go into all my apps let's chat a little bit about my accessories that I have here you guys know that I love Casetify and I actually just got in a box of their new clear cases so you guys know Casetify is a huge tech brand love all of their cases and these are the new crystal clear cases that are supposed to help prevent yellowing on the like case itself so it has long lasting clarity with the UV Defender technology. So I'm going to put one of these ones on my phone. I think this one is cute with the flowers. So we know that Case Defy's cases are minimal yet strong. They have the 6.6 foot drop protection and they exceed the military grade drop test standard so that's awesome and these ones are also magsafe compatible so you can use the magsafe accessories with the clear case and charge it with the wireless charging now we're just going to do a quick little drop test to show you guys how protective these truly are so here is my screen before there are no scratches or anything obviously some fingerprint marks but other than that no like cracks <laughs> all right i'm pulling it from up here just a little dog hair, but other than that, perfect. These new cases are carefully constructed. They have very tactile buttons and are made from 65% recycled and plant-based material. These are available for the iPhone models 12, 13, and 14, all models. And if you're interested, you can go to casetify.com slash juliakchris to get 15% off your order. All right, but back to my homepage. So, I already told you about the widgets, but we'll go through my most used apps. They're in this folder, and I just have like little like rainbow icons as the title just because I thought that was cute. But we have Canva, which I already talked about. That's how I made all of the wallpapers. So you can see, here we go. How cute. Facebook, the Lightroom app, that's what I use to edit my Instagram photos. So I might be releasing a new preset soon of the preset edit that I've been using on my feed lately. Preview, I use this to plan out my feed so you can like drag around the photos and make sure it all works together. And then I have the Starbucks app, 
Love the Starbucks app. I get all my points and everything because why not? Might as well get a free drink if you're spending money. Fonto I use for my thumbnails to add text to those for my YouTube videos. Then we have YouTube. You guys know what that is. Obviously, you're watching this video. And then Pinterest. I love Pinterest so much and you guys can follow me over there. I, here's my beautiful pins. I just have so many fun boards. I have all of our wedding ones now that I could probably public now, but this is the board Keegan and I had and we pinned all of our ideas onto it. So, so much fun. Love Pinterest though. I get on it almost every morning just for inspiration. YouTube Studio, that is the app that I use to control my YouTube like videos and everything from my phone. And then Apple Music. Love my music. And yes, I am an Apple Music person over Spotify. What are you? I'm curious. Next folder I have like the basic ones that I use often. Notes, Maps, FaceTime, Calendar. I do actually use the calendar for my like things, so I use that. It's very nice. Keeps me organized. <laughs> and Safari, all that good stuff. Then I have the mail app and I do have all of my mail accounts hooked onto my phone so I can see them all at once whenever I get on, which is very nice. Highly recommend that. I have like my work, school, personal, all those emails on there. Then my camera roll. Yep, it's, there's a lot on there. 45,000 photos and it's not organized in any way. Since I'm going on a flight today, usually when I'm on a flight, I will go through my camera roll and try and delete like bunches of pictures. Like if I took pictures for Kylie, I go and delete all those because I always forget to in the moment. So I have a lot of clearing out I need to do. Then I have this page and it's just a widget page basically of wedding photos because again, loved our wedding and wanted to have some on here. So I basically have this page as a filler because what is on the next page is TikTok. I had to hide it two pages over so that I could have more of a conscious, like it takes me longer to get to the app so then by then I'm like thinking like, do I really need to be on TikTok right now? So that's why it's over here on its own page on its island basically to make me actually be more intentional of when I'm getting on it. If it's just to sit on it for a few hours or if it's to make one and then post it. So that's there and then um, a widget with a quote from Pinterest. Then you can see my background is just like this ocean photo. I thought it would be helpful to to like make it all calm with all my widgets and everything. So that just worked and that's also from Pinterest. Then at the bottom I have my messages, phone, Instagram, and Snapchat. You guys know the good deal there. Pretty basic and I just have them always in that exact spot I feel like since I've had my first ever iPhone. <laughs> now we can start going through my app library. Let's go through my recently added. I bought this app that's a buzzer because we were playing a board game and we needed to like have a buzzer so. That's it, and then we use that for the game we're playing. And then the next app is for my tripod that I have, Ember. This is the app that I use to control my mug that Keegan got me for Christmas. So you go onto it and you can like drag the temperature that you want your drink to be at and stay at. 3D Euchre, play that sometimes. Kindle app, Framio. Basically my mom has this frame and we can upload photos to it and she can see them and they're like in the living room so we get funny and add some pictures on there so they rotate through. And then Turo, this is a new app. It's kind of like Airbnb but for cars I think. We looked into it for some of our trips that were going on this year because we would need a rental car and it would have been cheaper but then the underage fee is $120. We're not 25 yet but it's a good idea for maybe when I turn 25. Social media is the next one. Be real. Love be real. I honestly don't really use it that much. I find myself just not even doing it, but that's all right. It's a fun idea. Group me. I really don't need that app anymore. Honestly, I don't know what app these are. Like this herd. I think someone on TikTok developed it and they were like, this is going to be the next biggest thing. So I got it for fun, but I don't even remember what it is. LinkedIn, Marco Polo. This scout app is kind of fun. The idea was from one of these influencers that I follow and it's basically like photo location so if you see a photo that you like you can like unlock it to get this exact photo location and it's just kind of fun because sometimes a lot of people take photos and you're like where is that so yeah I think that's kind of fun and it should go to like the exact precise location so kind of cute kind of fun productivity and finance all these fun apps. I'm gonna see if there's any that actually stick out to me that you might find helpful, but honestly in this one, I feel like they're all pretty basic and you guys probably know what a lot of these are, so 
we'll skip that. Next is creativity. A lot of these apps I've downloaded and then I don't really use, so maybe I need to go through these today and delete the ones I don't use too. I love Dispo, this app. You basically just take like Polaroid photos and they're really cute. My entire friend group, we all have access to this role called BSU Friends and we all just take pictures into it all night and then we like look at them the next day, so it's really fun. I highly suggest doing that. I took some on the honeymoon for Keegan and I. <laughs> Splice, this is the app that I use if I need to like edit a TikTok on my phone, so I highly recommend this one if you're looking for like a free video editing app for like TikToks on your phone. Storylux, I use this a lot for cute little templates like this. You see? Cute! Love that app. And then the Tess app, I honestly don't use this one very much. I know a lot of people use this to edit their photos a lot, so I've tried it. I'm slowly learning how to use it. Yeah, that app is fun though. That's pretty good over there. Utilities, all of the classic Apple apps, and my actual utilities, like electric, that's nice. Yeah, you can get a good look at those, but they're all pretty boring. Now on to entertainment. This is what this one looks like. A lot of my like streaming apps, fun things like that. Ticketmaster, all oh, holding my Taylor Swift tickets safe in there. Pretty simple over there. Then shopping. All my favorite stores, classic. I feel like Amazon is probably the most used out of all of these. The other thing is this shop app. I think I've talked about it before, but basically it keeps track of a lot of your orders and you can like see them all in one place. So this is kind of fun. I do like this one. Next up, travel. All the fun travel apps, hotels airlines, transportation. This one is really cool, it's called Out of Office and basically you like find a location you want to go to and it like shows you good things to do in that area, so recommendations from other like real people, so I think it's kind of fun. Then food and drinks. I will say probably our most used app out of this one is DoorDash. We loved DoorDash, it's so nice, but we need to get out of the habit this year. This little Starship app is kind of fun, it's how our campus can control the robots that are like going around delivering food, but we don't live on campus, so we can't use them, so bummer, but it's kind of fun. My robot vacuum app, Eufy Clean. Zillow, I do like to get on Zillow and look at random houses for fun. Sleep Aid Fan, probably one of my most used apps in this category as well, so like whenever we're traveling. I like to sleep with a box fan every night, but sometimes we can't bring a box fan with us, so I will turn on this app and turn on a fan. <laughs> Health and fitness, hospital stuff, business, so FedEx, Google Ads. Honestly, didn't know I had half these apps, so that's nice. Education, Duolingo, Canvas. Don't need any of these anymore though, because I graduated, so that's nice. And then games, yep, don't play like any of these games. Oh, this one is fun though. It's kind of a party game that you can play with your friends, so you all sign up and join a game, and then it's like voting on the different people, it'll be like, who is late to class the most, something like that, or is most likely to be late to class, and like you vote on the people, so that one's fun, I highly recommend that one, but yeah, I think that might be it for what's on my iPhone. If you want to, you should comment down below what type of phone you have, because I'm curious. Like I said, mine is the iPhone 14 Plus. Hopefully you guys found some new apps or fun things to do with your phone through this video, but yeah, that's all I have for you, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one.